Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that the computer appears to be correctly configured, but the web proxy is not responding. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, flush DNS, should all be one word, attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back of Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, again exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter, should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here and then restart your computer. And then hopefully if you need to connect back to your VPN or proxy server, you should be good to go. Something else we can try is to do a full network reset. So go ahead and open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the network and internet on the left side. And now on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath advanced network settings and go ahead and open that up. And then underneath more settings, you want to select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. So if you're using a Wi-Fi based connection, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once you restart your computer, you will need to enter them back in if you want to get back online. So this basically reads that this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now you want to go ahead and close out of everything and then restart your device. And now hopefully you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do a lot of people to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.